Hi Taurus and welcome to your June monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well and this is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Taurus sign so we can look at the cards, get a sense of the messages from what we see and that can help shape and guide the month for us. So let's see what we have. I've already shuffled these cards quite a bit. Give them a few more shuffles. Okay, so we're going to start with two cards for the awareness for the week. Okay, so your awareness for the week are, it's going to be family matters. We have the Ten of Pentacles and this card is about uh, taking care of your family, looking at the finances, making sure that things are secure, that you know, the hard work that you're putting into is that you are able to um, look out for your family. And so that means planning estates, uh, saving money, maybe saving for the children's uh, college fund or elderly care. So the Ten of Pentacles is really a focus on family. And you can see we have children, we have the uh, patriarch, we have the, the couple and the dogs and the beautiful home and here's a sense of building security and stability in your home so your focus perhaps or your awareness for the week is going to be on family and your stability the, the home finances investments you also have the wheel of fortune and the Wheel of Fortune is a major arcana card, and this major arcana card is about change. It's about movement. It's about life being in motion. This wheel is always spinning. And some days everything is going just right, and at the drop of a hat, it changes. You know, the wheel changes direction, and then you're like, what happened? So with the Wheel of Fortune, just be mindful of that events, you may have a slight change in your schedule this week or in your routine or at your job and it may, it either may throw you or you may say, oh, okay, I can deal with that. It's about how you react to the Wheel of Fortune, I think, which is one of the most important messages is that life is going to continually spin and give you uh, random, the randomness of, of it all different opportunities and experiences and so uh, it's a matter of your perspective and how you accept and go with the flow with these changes. So now I'm going to choose two cards and these two cards are for guidance for the week. What information can you tell us for guidance? Okay, so we have the King of Swords. So for guidance, the King of Swords is this air sign, which is intellect, thinking, using your head. He also brings clarity and the ability to really speak your mind clearly. So with the King of Swords, be careful in how you say things. Think before you speak. And this week, uh, be decisive and any decisions that you make need to be based on the facts and what you know of each side and try to not let your emotions get in there and mush up your thought process because really this card is about clear focus on facts, on relevant issues and cutting through any nonsense or BS. So the King of Swords is decisive, he's experienced, he's intellectual, you also could be working with 
uh, people that are, you know, rational, <laughs> logical scientists. It just makes me think of scientists, lawyers, judges, uh, perhaps some uh, doctors as well, because, you know, they, they'll tell you like it is when we maybe need a little more love and care and they're just kind of telling you what's going on. So, you know, as I see this King of Swords, here's the, the Five of Pentacles. And we see this hardship couple walking past the building with the stained glass pentacles. They don't even notice it. And they're struggling. This is about struggle. Uh, this is about perhaps being tired, stressed out, beginning to feel sick or getting sick, uh, and feeling like you're not getting the support that you need. So guidance, when we see the Five of Pentacles, the guidance would be uh, that if you are feeling sick or under the weather, to take care of yourself. Do what you need to do to take care of yourself. If you feel that you are lacking support, either in your relationship, your job, or with your family, that people aren't listening, then uh, guess maybe keep at it. And the king of, this King of Swords would say, be very direct in what you say to them. Be very direct in how you, uh, you know, how you explain what you need. And sometimes our pride gets in the way and we don't want to ask for help. We feel, we, sh we feel like we're a burden. Please don't feel like a burden. If you're under the weather and if you're going to work when you're sick, as you know, I'm a teacher and many people, we end up doing that because we feel, oh my gosh, I can't take off. And we're not doing anyone any favors. When you are under the weather, you have a cold, you have laryngitis, you have pink eye, whatever you may have, you know, don't be a martyr, stay home and get better. And so a couple things here of, of watch yourself for health. And if you need support, then find a way to ask for it in a very clear and straightforward manner. I think that there's, it's about being truthful too, that if you need help, you know, don't be afraid to speak your truth. And finally, let's take, uh, let's pick two cards for possible outcomes for the week. Okay, so we have justice, and justice is a major arcana card. We see the figure here staring right straight at us. He's holding the balanced scales and he's holding the sword right up in the air. This is again making decisions and fair decisions. This is about equality. This is about equality. Doing the right thing, showing integrity in your actions, uh, in your daily interactions. So for this week, you might have issues of fairness and this fairness may be tied to this uh, five of pentacles where you fear you're not getting your support and you may feel that it isn't fair. Something isn't fair for you. So if you feel that something isn't fair, your guidance is to speak clearly and directly and honestly. Speak your mind and do it in a rational, fact-driven way, and you will get the help that you need. And then your other outcome card is the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Wands is really such a cool card to have. This card, <clears throat> excuse me, this card is about power, your power. Take this big wand that the universe is handing to you and go out and do something, create something, build something, write something. It's about creativity, it's about inspiration, it's about following your passions. If your passion is to learn how to scuba dive, then go online, look, look it up, see if there are any classes you know, at a nearby pool or something that they're teaching how to get certified to become a scuba 
diver. So, you know, just don't sit and dream about it. This is about swing the club and go do it. So there's a lot of uh, fire and passion and drive with wands. And so, uh, you know, your outcome is that you are, you're working, it's really lovely here, which is you're dealing with some fairness this week, but you're ultimately going to be moving toward something that's going to bring you pleasure and passion and excitement. Hmm. So let's get a little more information. And this is the Osho Zen Tarot. Abundance. So we have this cool looking guy, groovy guy here sitting, all the beautiful colors hanging out. And abundance is defined as you define it. It can be material abundance, it can be spiritual abundance, loving abundance, appreciation. But abundance is here for you. And when you're able to navigate all the different pieces of life and of what we're doing, then, you know, if you have, if you put your ideas into action with the Ace of Wands, when you act with integrity and you think about fairness, taking care of yourself when you're stressed or exhausted or sick, asking support when you need it, being clear, uh, rolling with the movement of the wheel, which is how you react, how you respond, how you deal, and focusing on your work for your family and the love in your family, then you know, the, the possibilities for abundance are very much there. So let's pull a card for spiritual self or emotional self. Relationships. So again, relationships are just mirror images of your own life. How you feel and treat yourself is well, you, how you react and respond to different situations. Whoops. Such a powerful card and thought, which is how we treat people in relationships really does define us. And you get a really good picture here of how people are when you see how they treat um, people in stores or customer service or on the phone or, or in a restaurant or even your own partner, how they treat their children, so much is to be learned and, and how we treat each other is reflective of really who we are. So pay attention to your relationships this week and the quality of the relationship as well. And then finally, let's choose a love card, an oracle for love. This is the Whispers of Love. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. So again, with the King of Swords in your reading this week, clarity, communication, direct, doesn't mean that you have to be harsh or nasty. You can say things very clearly in a gentle manner. And, you know, uh, speaking truthfully, and again, having integrity in life and uh, being unafraid to, to say the truth, say, say for example, if you really do need help, and to not be afraid to say that um, will only benefit you. 
you can't lose when you're honest. Along the way, you may lose a couple friends. Maybe they don't want honesty, but when you are true to yourself and honest, then um, good things come your way. So Taurus, I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading today, and I wish you the very best for the week. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, share, or comment, and come back for another weekly reading next week. Take care. Bye-bye.